Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over something a little bit different. Uh, well, actually, not different. <laughs> Last week we went over importing equal schematics into KiCad, and that was in KiCad 5.1.8. And people in the comments pointed out, hey, this actually has improved quite a bit in KiCad 6.0 or KiCad 5.99. And the difference there, it, well, it's 5.99 because it's not officially the version 6 yet. That's coming hopefully before Q2 or before April of this year. But in the meantime, you can actually go and download this in something called the Nightlies. And so the Nightlies are basically a active build. It's a non-stable build of KiCad, and it's got all the new features in there. And we're going to go and try this right now. Now, normally, I don't show this before we're at a stable version. I really like stable versions because you can go and download it. You know it's tested. You know it's good to go. And everything's kind of not going to change all that much. We're towards the end of the development cycle, and so things really aren't going to change that much from this point on, but it's still not at a stable status, so it's not completely tested. The KiCad devs are working hard on it, and I'm really excited for them to push out V6, and that's coming hopefully, like I said, in a couple months here. But in the meantime, we can actually go and preview what's going on there. And so if you're interested in this sort of thing, if you want me to go and preview some more features that I found in V6, I'm happy to do that. Please let me know down, down below. Uh, in the meantime, though, we are going to look at this one specific feature to compare it against last week's Eagle import video. So first things first, we're going to go and actually look at the uh, version six. I have I run uh, VMs. Now you don't have to do this. You can actually I have a Windows machine with a Ubuntu VM on top of it using uh, VMware. You can do this a lot of other ways. This is just the way I'm doing it. But I, I prefer to have a VM completely separate from my system. And I've installed the KiCad Nightly here. So let's go and take a look at this. So I already have this up here. So I'm going to say KiCad dash Nightly. And then I'm going to add an ampersand at the end, and that's going to just run it detached from that specific terminal window. So you can already notice that it looks a little bit different here. You see 5.99, though. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is actually, oops, I'm going to go, it's a little bit delayed, so hopefully my computer can keep up. That is the downside to a, uh, a machine, or having like a VM here is that like a machine is kind of uh, struggling with video and everything else. It's not the, the most modern machine, but anyways, um, so I'm going to go and actually do git clone. I've already uh, copied the address here of the same board we looked at last time, the Adafruit Feather M4 Express. So I'm going to go and clone this into a new directory here. Hopefully that works. Okay. And now we're going to go into the KiCad uh, launcher here, and we're going to say import non-KiCad project, import eagle. And here it is. So basically... Uh, we're already in this folder here, and I'm going to say a schematic. Now it's going to ask me where do I want to put these new KiCad files, because those are the, the Eagle files. And so I'm going to just create a new uh, KiCad version. Okay, and we'll say this is where we're going to put all the new files. And now it's going through, and it's actually loading all this stuff up here. All right, so a few things happened. I don't know if it might have flashed a little too quickly, but we already should have. Let's see. If it does crash, I'm going to apologize, but like I said, this is the non-stable version. So it looks like the schematic is here. And so let's take a look at what we looked at last time. I, I don't think it's actually any different, I think. So this looks like it did when we imported it into 5.1.9. It is spooling there, so maybe we'll go back to the layout here. All right, so maybe maybe it's waiting on this dialog. I'm not sure. So I'm going to do auto match layers. And what that does is basically now it goes through and it says, hey, the backside documentation layer, which is an eagle layer, is going to map to the backside fab, right? And same thing all the way through. You can actually, you can see it actually shows all of the different inner copper layers you can have. You can have up to 32 default copper layers in KiCad. Uh, and so we're just going to use top and bottom. That should already be there. Now, the one that I don't see on here, we might have to come back to, is the... 200 so i remember there was an error with i think it was this one so the 200 bmp i'm going to just assign this to just a generic layer we'll just say user one and so i'm going to map 200 bmp to user one i don't think there's a user zero and we'll see how that goes and so that's one additional thing there uh i think that's it let's maybe we can also map these others here as well so we'll just do uh, it looks like you can map multiple so 201 bmp could also be mapped to user one but we'll just put these all on separate layers here honestly i do not know what the 200 bmp is other than i know that it yells at me when i don't have it so i'm just going to map a couple of these here and hope for the best 
Uh, did I miss some? Oh, I missed some. Oops. Uh, this is going to be user three. So 200. Oh, this is so we're going to un undo this one. I'm going to say 202 is going to use user three. OK, I should have. It's like an off by one error here. All right, let's just try that and we'll see how it goes. Everything else should just import fine. All right, so it's doing the import process. Aha. Uh -huh. T test 37 was not mapped. So this is another layer that was not mapped from the Adafruit uh, library over. Let's see if there's details here. So it looks like T restrict, T test. So T test 37 and T restrict 41. So if we see something's missing, we can go and try and map those to other user layers here. Uh, copy that. Hit OK. And then choose the library table to add the library to. So now this is because it's adding in libraries from the uh, from the Eagle file into here. It's going to say, well, do you want to add this to every project from now on? I'm going to actually say, no, I just wanted to just add the library to just this specific project. OK. And it looks like we do have text here, which is great. Let's test and see if we can turn this off. And it does look like this is the one. So this is the B200 or whatever that was. It looks like that text layer is the one that didn't get mapped over before. And it does look like we now have that captured. Looks like the backside is on user two. So that's great. So we can basically, we can either try and copy all this stuff to user two, but probably the easier thing to do is if we went and imported it again, we would go and map that uh, BMP200 to the front side silk screen layer. So let's look at just that one layer. So we're going to show uh, all non show hide all layers, and then we'll just show this one user one layer. So it does look like this is just the silk screen that uh, Adafruit assigns to this. And we can turn off that one and just look at this one. And there's the backside graphics as well. We can do a flipboard view to look at this. So this is what it would look like if you're looking at the bottom of an M4 Express, and it does look correct to me. Okay, great. So we are able to pull in all of the graphics as well. I will call out the fact that this is open source hardware. does not mean you can use the Adafruit logo. So please, if you're going to do anything with this stuff, please be respectful of uh, trademarks, uh, including Feather. So please, uh, you know, if you're going to if you're going to reuse any of the open source hardware, please do not step on anyone's trademarks. That's an important thing here. Okay, let's go and look at that other thing that we had talked about before. Uh, so the other one that kind of tripped me up in the past was the flags. And I don't think that's changed. So it looks like, yeah, you see that little guy there? So the flag is the same. It still assigns this little tiny label that represents the actual signal name for the flag. Not a huge deal, but like I said, it can get kind of tripped up there. Uh, there may have been other things I've missed, but those are the the two big things, and you see these are the same ones that we did in the past as well. Yeah, so there's those little ones as well, VBUS and VBAT. Okay, so that's still something. I think at this point it's kind of a just a something you should know, not necessarily something that's going to impact your designs in a crazy way. You know, it's just like a, if you're going to use flags, if you're going to import designs that use flags from Eagle to KiCad, definitely be careful about that. And then on the graphical side of things, uh, you know, we've benefited a lot from from these sort of things and you already see over here so all the new stuff in the nightly of a lot of the things that are really exciting in nightly are the visibility options and then also the the various net classes and the drc stuff so i'm super excited about that there's also there's a lot of other things that are coming in version six that are are very exciting that i still need to dig into honestly and so I, I may be doing that here in future videos so um it does look like that one, at least one of those issues was fixed, if we even call those issues, but uh, you should now be able to import even more of the layers and map them to however you want to. Like I said, that BMP200, we'd probably want to map that into the front side silk screen and or front and back silk screen, uh, but it's just a matter of understanding what are the layers that you're bringing in and then what do you want to actually do with those layers once they are in. So that's all for now. Uh, we'll have more videos about KiCad, especially version 6, as that's coming out. If you have any thoughts about what you'd like to see in version 6 or not see, I don't know. Uh, if you have any uh, thoughts about the things you would or would not like to see, please let us know down in the comments below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.